Hey, travel friends, this weekend on Doodle the Travel Bug, we're taking an ASA class and learning to sail. Now, if this is your first time hanging with us, we're a travel family, and our favorite place to go is anywhere we haven't been. But we're finding out some of our most memorable trips are when we lose sight of land and seek out untamed water. I'm not talking about some commercial cruise with all-you-can-eat buffets and umbrella drinks. However, we are occasionally guilty of that. No, I'm talking about when we feel most like explorers and a little bit like pirates. We love being on a boat, specifically sailboats. Today we're heading down to Edgewater Yacht Club on Lake Erie in Cleveland, Ohio. But you can find an American Sailing Association almost anywhere in the U.S. that has water to sail. I am studying on my way there. <laughs> We've had these books all summer and, and I'm, I'm having a hard time learning sailing lingo. There's a, there's a lot of vocabulary. This is like learning Russian to me, so, uh, but we're excited. The ASA believes if you're old enough to walk, you can sail. However, they only give out certifications to passing students over 16. But they're happy to teach us as a family. Redheads and boating. <laughs> we meet up with Captain Rich, our instructor, for Sailing 101 Keelboat Basics. And we waste no time jumping into it learning knots. Tying a secure knot is a critical skill for any sailor. Our captain goes over things on a boat with correct terminology, so I stop calling them things on a boat. Oh, and this is a keel boat, what we'll be learning on a small, mid-sized sailing yacht. We also go over the rules of right away with cardboard models before being trusted with the real deal. Then, like most ASA classes, we head over to the boat because on the water is the best way to learn. Now, we love taking classes as a family, and this one was right up our alley. It's a shared experience where you work together and support each other. Plus, it encourages lifelong learning. In Keelboat 101, we are learning how to rig our sailboat. And here's where those knots come in handy. All right, so what type of knot did we just tie? A uh, bowline. 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 Two bowline knots on the clue. Yep. So, Captain, if somebody let go of that halyard, we'd have to nominate somebody to climb up the mast, right? Sure. I call not it. <laughs> As we motor out into open water, we go over safe marina procedures. We hoist the sails and the captain goes over sailing theory with us. You can't control the wind, so as a sailor, you really need to learn to work with it. So next, we learn to tack, which is basically alignment of the sails to the wind. And before we know it, we're sailing. I'm sailing! I'm sailing! Captain has me start off at the helm and I get to steer with the tiller. It looks easy until it's time to change direction or you veer into the no sail zone. But you don't learn to sail because it's easy. You learn to sail because it's hard. It's not all calm waters and sunsets. You're learning to harness the wind and there's something so empowering about that. After a couple hours, we really get our rhythm down and we start getting a good heel on the boat. And by day two, even the nautical terminology is starting to stick. We're tacking back round. Do me a favor, ease the sheet. Swing the jib, starboard. Okay, let me, oh. One of our favorite procedures was our man overboard drill. We saw this balloon and we saved it from, from the water. Hey, should we practice some more man overboard uh, drills? Throw Bebo overboard. Now after two full days on Lake Erie, we're not really ready to circumnavigate the globe, but we're definitely hooked. And the ASA has more advanced classes we plan on taking. But until then, we'll be hanging out dockside if anyone's looking for a crew. We scrub deck and we can pack some ham sandwiches. You feel like a sailor? We do. Yeah? yeah. You know things? A lot of lines, a lot of organizing, a lot of sun. <laughs> we all fun. And when it's all over, there's a written test. But no sweat, we had a great instructor and we passed with a 92%. So, if you're sailing around us, 8% of you may die. That's what that means. <laughs> Show me the way to go home. Boom, boom, For more unique go. travel shows, like and subscribe to see where Doodle Bug goes next. Going, went straight to my